What on earth has happened here? This is not how I expected to log into the Hermitcraft server. I seem to be at my campsite, but I seem to be surrounded by forest. The forest has claimed my base. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, it took me a long time. I didn't notice. <laughs> I didn't actually notice the missing L. I, I thought I thought someone was was saying peace, love, and no plants, and I was like, I don't like that. But then I realised. <laughs> Have they done both? No, okay, good. Because I use my ethically harvested glow squid ink on those signs, and honestly, it's quite difficult to come by. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any more. Glow squids don't voluntarily kill themselves very often, so you know I have to count my lucky charms there. Now I'm going to pose the question: Who on earth did this? Whilst knowing entirely who would have done this. It is 100% the guy who doesn't seem to be able to put backs on his builds. I mean, look at this. What's going on here? I mean, it looks great from the front, but this, this just won't do. So I say we do him a favor. I'm going to take the trees that is so graciously planted around my base. And I'm going to replant them. Because, you know, that's what I do. And I'm going to replant them at the back of his base. We're going to finish off the back of his base using trees. <laughs> Wait a minute. Has he put... I was just wondering, has he put one on top of my living roof? No, my living roof has actually remained unscathed. I'm kind of, that's a missed opportunity, dude. So the many trees have now been removed. I now have a ton of wood, which I'm incredibly thankful for, and also a bunch of saplings. This is going to be more than enough to do what needs to be done. I just need a little bit of dirt. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Saplings and bone meal. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The one that was next to the dirt actually grew. And it's probably grown ridiculously tall. Yes. <laughs> Things are going well. Come on, grow. Yes. They're always absolutely massive ones when they're next to blocks. Now, I, I must admit, I, I am facing some bone meal shortages here. And I can't actually get any more. I don't even remember where I got these bones from. But regardless, they are coming in handy. Now, let's see. Has this worked? <laughs> Yes! Yes, it has! This is a big improvement. I feel like we have definitely made it better. I have missed this little bit, though, so let's fill that in. And now I think my masterpiece is finished. And I've got to say, you know, from the front, it actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's certain bits that look out of place, but the leaves, the leaves actually fit in with the kind of greedery that he has going on with the build. Where things start to go a little bit sideways is when you start to look at it from these sorts of angles. <laughs> Oh man, this is so ridiculous. This is so stupid. It is, it is a mess. It is an absolute mess. But you have to remember, he made a complete mess of my base. And I've just thought, I really hope this doesn't escalate past this point. Like, I hope we can, I hope we can end this tree battle now before it becomes a tree war. Which I guess does bring me on to my signs. I mean, they, they could be a little bit aggressive. I saw you were struggling with the back of your base, as always. Is that too much? Is that too much? So I fixed it for you. Peace, love, and plants. The fact that I've added peace, love, and plants to the end with a love heart. There's a love heart in there. I feel like that should that should calm things down a tiny bit. One can only hope because I only have a tiny base, so it, it can't take much more treeage. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. I think that's enough of that for one day. So my plan of action for today's Hermitcraft episode before it was thoroughly derailed was to build an industrial carrot and potato farm making use of villagers. Now this isn't going to be happening on the top here. This is going to be almost like decoration for the much bigger and more industrial farm that's going to be underneath. But of course that much bigger and more industrial farm requires lots of space. And to create that space, of course I have to swing my pickaxe around a lot. Wait, what? <laughs> I was running away from that creeper and he just upped and climbed the ladder after me. What on earth? Turns out it's been a thing since 2011, so it really isn't that special, but I'm still shook. I tell you what else has shooken me. This hole here, it took an hour. One whole hour. What? Now that's not that long in the grand scheme of recording a Hermitcraft episode. You know, these things take many, many hours to record, but this, this. With a haste 2 beacon, this is like a five minute job. What on earth has happened to the boat and pole? The boat and pole... The boat and pole has become the boat and pole. <laughs> I gotta be real careful because, yeah, going down to the bottom there would not be fun. In terms of the design for this industrial potato farm, we're going to be using a pretty standard one that involves villagers. One villager on the inside of here who's a farmer. The other villager who is just 
a standard villager and then the farmer tries to throw potatoes at the villager over there might just be the worst explanation of how the farm works ever but the good news is is that it's a reliable design it works incredibly well and each layer should produce about 700 potatoes per hour i think which would mean 1400 potatoes in total that seems actually like an awful lot that seems like far more than I'm ever going to need. So hopefully I've got those statistics totally wrong and it produces less than that. But with that being said, I do have a solution for the oversupply. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. First, I need to work out how I actually want this thing to look. And I must admit, I'm liking this already. Yeah, I, I'm I'm really liking the vibe of this. I want this to fit in a fairly similar theme to my tiny house. So it's going to be very planty, lots of flowers and lots of wood. And I would say this is a solid start. Yes, this is looking incredibly cool. So now that the whole structure is all constructed and ready to go, I think it's time that we actually start getting villagers into this thing, which gets a little bit scary. Just because villagers have a real tendency to do absolutely ridiculous and stupid things, and we don't really have too many of them over in the village over there. So instead of risking it with our few remaining villagers, instead, I'm going to build up a little villager breeder over there so that hopefully we can get a good supply. And this should be it like if i get two villagers on top of this fence post then they should start producing babies that will drop down into there now obviously this bit is the easy bit the tricky bit is actually getting the villagers into this thing it is always a nightmare with that being said is there already a villager breather that i'm just totally unaware of this definitely sounds like more than a few villagers okay i think I think this is good. I guess this absolutely was not necessary and I shall now remove it because it's very ugly. There is always something incredibly entertaining about transporting villagers by boat. I mean, he just looks so dissatisfied with what's going on. Oh, that's a problem. I mean, no wonder he's so dissatisfied with what's going on. I'm driving the boat, all right? And also, we're in a boat on land, like already. That's a frustrating situation, but they've got more on like me driving it. But actually on the point of dissatisfaction, I should probably make sure that this guy's all right with what's going on. You know, I'm all about the peace, love of plants. I need to consider this guy's feelings. So let's see. Um, did you like the village that you just came from? Okay. So are you unhappy about leaving? That's good. And you, you totally don't mind being in my industrial potato farm for the rest of your life? But that doesn't bother you? Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Peace, love, and plants, baby. Peace, love, and plants. So villager one of four should be about to volunteer himself into this hole here. That is perfect. He should stay there now. Fantastic. I just need to get a few hopper minecarts in place in front of him. And that should give us a fully transparent item carrier thrower. So our villager that's in here should try throwing potatoes at this villager, but then they'll instantly be picked up by these hopper minecarts and make their way into our storage system. All the prep work has now been done for our second villager, and once this guy is in, this layer will then be fully operational and we'll start automatically farming potatoes, which of course is incredibly exciting. This seems to be good. He seems to have converted himself into being a farmer, which is fantastic. Everything is now in place. I guess when potatoes start growing, he should start harvesting them and doing his bit. He totally did not do that. So now I'm wondering if maybe I put him in slightly later in the day. Maybe it was past his working time. And that totally wasn't the case either. So after three hours of designing and testing in my creative mode testing world, I managed to get a design that was working. And then I came back onto the Hermitcraft server to find that actually it had been working the entire time that I was testing the system. <laughs> that's the noise that i make when i don't know whether to laugh or cry right well my designs and my tests in the single player world were completely pointless because this is fully functional and working incredibly well so let's get the second layer constructed much less frustration later all the villages are now in place and everything is all up and running so we have got two layers of this rather industrial potato farm and if we take a look down at the bottom it is doing rather well and that isn't including drops from the top layer so this is just the bottom layer working while i've been building up the top layer so we're gonna have we're gonna have far more potatoes than i think i'll ever need you know in episode one when green called me potato boy well i think i might just be potato boy we'll definitely be coming back to that i just want to let you know that i have waxed you you have waxed first me. time's free this is this is good is the greatness about my waxing service mumbo is it's yep. a surprise every time <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know if that's what you want from a waxing service. I just checked my face to make sure we were talking about the same sort of waxing. Because if you waxed off my mustache, I was about Dude. to be quite cheesed off. Dude, your, your van is shining like it has never shined before. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> What stage have you waxed my cover blocks in, dude? I've just realized that they might not be in the phase that I'd like them to be. Here, come around the front. Come around the front. Come around the front. Come around the front. Here we are. This is... This is not... This is <laughs> suboptimal, dude. You know, you're... It, it's real rich, okay? Messing with a guy's copper. When one has so much copper on their roof, okay? I have eight <laughs> copper blocks in my bus, okay? You have 400 <laughs> copper blocks, okay? That's true. That's true. That is very <laughs> you, true. You have, to, you have to be real careful here, buddy. You have to be real careful. Are we going to listen to Wonderwall? Yeah, let's do it. No, I got something better. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I got something better for you, okay? Oh, are we can beat this. I'm okay, just hang out, just hang out, and okay. watch. Watch the wonders that is to be. Are you ready? These gonna okay. be. Here we go. What's he doing? <gasps> what? What? <laughs> What's just happened? What was that? I have no idea. <laughs> He's back. He's back. It's a one-man oh. circus. It's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Uh, oh. Everybody okay? Oh wow. I am uh Oh no, he had to turn Wonderwall on. <laughs> it's not quite as good, is it? It's not quite as good. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh. What this happened? Is next level. This I... is this is the one Tim this is the new Timmy the Wonder Pig, I oh. think. Oh village. my goodness. <laughs> So we got a wonder pig, we got wonder wall. What else are we gonna get this wondrous? I mean, geez, this is we need yeah, village full of wonder. That is exactly what we have here. Oh, um, impulse. Yeah. Well, I have you here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Don't kill my pig. What's about to happen? <laughs> oh um, no! A new service oh. here in town, impulse. It's called Scar's Waxing. A surprise every time. The first oh. time here is free, by the way. Okay. Um, we are available twenty four hours to satisfy your waxing needs i like and, it and uh yeah the first time it's free Wait, so i appreciate the service car just, just to oh, clarify yes, it is a, gonna be a great service we don't have the wax yet by the way i was way. gonna say uh, just to oh. clarify i i saw no wax being used there buddy that was just <laughs> I don't purely have any bees no wax just an axe that's your <laughs> slogan <laughs> <laughs> This wait, is my first wait, wait, no, no. Uh, impulse, you have to say that, right? And then you have to jump on your ride and celebrate that as if that was like a 10 out of 10 <laughs> joke. All right? So you're going to rewind <laughs> right? joke. with yeah. the magic wait. of editing. All right? Okay, okay, okay. And go. No wax, just an axe. That's your slogan. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> 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 anyway, remember Potato Boy? Well, I got a little bit tired of people commenting on my lack of shorts. Oh my goodness, I've got a lack of legs. So I've decided to take my suit back out of the wardrobe and put it back on. But I've also turned myself into an actual potato. I am now... I'm now a potato. <laughs> now don't worry, I'm still all about the peace, love and plants, okay? I'm still not going to be killing anything, but I'm also going to have a heavy focus on potatoes. I mean, look at me. I'm carrying two potatoes. I didn't even plan to hold two potatoes. So that's absolutely hilarious. Potato Boy is here to fulfill all of your potato needs. And we're actually going to work on that now. It's time for Hermitcraft business number one. I'm going to set up a potato based vending machine, not just in this area, but also in other areas of the Hermitcraft server. My redstone testing world is so strange. You've got things from Hermitcraft season seven, Hermitcraft season four. This is from before Hermitcraft. This is Hermitcraft season three, sugarcane, pillar, sugarcane, brick wall, Hermitcraft season two. And this build was the first build I constructed in this redstone testing world. And it still works. Nice. Nostalgia trip aside, let's construct this vending machine. Design one looked great, but it only gives 48 items because I'm terrible at maths. It's also absolutely enormous because I don't have any slime, so I can't make make sticky pistons, which makes things considerably bigger in the redstone world. But after some serious ingenuity and engineering, I've managed to get myself a fully functional design. So this is where the hermits pay, and this is where their potatoes pop up. It's like a proper little vending machine. I'd forgotten about my skin. <laughs>
and these are all of the resources that I need to actually construct this thing. So I would say we were all pre-prepared and after some serious resource gathering on the Hermitcraft server, I am now fully kitted out to make four of these. So I've got all of the resources required to build four of these redstone contraptions. Now you might be wondering how I got these item frames. Well, it's, it's quite simple. I was the good person and I didn't go out and kill the cows. Instead, I stole it from Green's base. So stage one of this process is to dig out a three by five by seven hole to put all of the redstone circuitry inside of. Then it's the soul sand block in the center surrounded by 16. I think 16 droppers in total. Then the way that we actually activate this thing is making use of a redstone lamp and then observers detecting the flashing of the redstone lamp. So essentially when a redstone lamp gets powered by a short pulse, such as one from an observer, it actually increases the length of the pulse by one tick, which means that observers connected to it then give two pulses. So the way that we're getting a whole stack of items out of this system is obviously we've got 16 droppers. When we hit the button, it gives two pulses. And then when the button pops back out, it gives another two pulses, giving us four pulses, which is 64 potatoes. Maths, or as Americans say, math. So now it's just a case of connecting up all of the redstone, which is actually all quite simple. Most of it can be done on top of the surface, which is incredibly handy for the construction of this thing. And then it is just all of the decoration blocks. Why does it sound like I'm selling this as a product? Like this vending machine is the item that I'm selling? <laughs> oh dear, has come back to haunt me. I'm still trying to sell flat back redstone contraptions. Anyway, the build is now complete and it could be yours for just $9.99 on hermitcraft.com. Despite that being incredibly convincing, it's not actually for sale. Here it is in all of its glory looking absolutely fantastic so this is the potato boy tater vendor it is one diamond for three stacks which means that you have to press the button three times this system is now all over running but you may notice yeah there's currently no spuds in it i do however have an absolutely enormous quantity of potatoes at this point in time and i'm gradually trying my best to smelt them up quickly but it seems like the farm is actually way too fast for my smoker so we're going to need to double up. First, we need to clear up this absolutely colossal backlog of potatoes that we have. So there I'm in the super smelter. And now I've added in this tiny little system here, which essentially doubles the speed of the system by having two smokers instead of one. And that should hopefully be enough. I mean, I'm amazed by how fast this thing generates potatoes. I mean, we still have a pretty insane backlog to clear here as well. I have way too many potatoes this is a real issue even for someone who is a potato this is a problem well this isn't annoying at all refilling these things is definitely fun i love my job so let's give this system its first proper test i have got 18 baked potatoes so we should end up with one extra stack 14. <laughs> that's confusing these bottom two do not seem to be firing and that's weird i fixed it all up and then <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> well, you know, the other day when we were in the boat and you called me Potato Boy, I was like, man, that has a ring to it. So I've become a potato. I wish you could see my face in real life. <laughs> it's a very strong tater. <laughs> like, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. No, neither am I. I must admit, you know, it's... It's, oh, it's the hands as well. Oh, well, no, the, yeah, the hands have been added. And then sometimes I just hold two potatoes for effect just because it really just drives home the potato -iness of everything that's going on, you know? You know, I logged in earlier briefly and I thought you were just wearing a gold helmet. <laughs> <laughs> potato boy tater vendor. Oh, yeah, this is my new tater vendor machine. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm working on it. The redstone should actually be almost done. Uh, if I get this, let's, let's, I might do my first test right now. What could possibly go wrong? There you go. You can you uh, can now get potatoes if you if you want any, and then that's that's where you put your payments and things. I it's think a, you started a business venture and not a single person wants to buy any. <laughs> uh, mate, that it's, is oh, it's oh dear all over again. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that <laughs> that is totally my vibe actually. That is. <laughs> but see, here's the plan. This is not going to be the only one. I'm gonna I'm gonna cover the whole server in these. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. Good luck to you, Tater Man, because... <laughs> what? Do you not think this is going to work out? Do you not? Is no, that... I, I, as your friend, I fully believe in you. <laughs> okay, good. Well, anyway, it's uh, it's nice to see you, buddy. Um, your base <laughs> looks cool, and uh, I guess I'll get back yeah, to... Th thanks, for, thanks for finishing the back of it for me. <laughs> oh, that's quite all right, dude. <laughs> that's, oh, it, does, does that end the war, by the way? Like, the, the planting thing? Is that done? Oh, no. 
Oh no, it's just just begun. You best not close those draw door. I knew you were gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I could see it coming from a mile off. I was like, you best not close those doors with the right effect. <laughs> so with potato vendor number one done, it's now time to expand our reach. Who do I think is deserving of a tater vendor? Vintage beef? I mean, he's got beef in the name. I feel like potatoes, they're, they're not really his vibe. The three hooligans. Well, there's three of them. That's, that's... And there's a magma cube at the end of the tunnel there, so I guess this is the one that I'm going through. Just a reminder that this, this, and this are all starter bases. Hermitcraft is a strange place. I will be the first to admit that there is a certain element of risk in the location that I've chosen for my next data vendor. I am getting ridiculously fast at building these things though. This. This is becoming second nature for me. So the second vending machine in the Tater Vendor Enterprise has been constructed and I imagine it's going to be hugely successful and profitable. Next Tater Vendor is going to be going into Iskal and Ethos base. Now this one features a slightly modified design because I'm going to try my best to get it to fit in within the environment and not stand out too much. It's details like these that are going to make me the most successful business on the Hermitcraft server. And I would say I've done a very good job indeed. All it needs is potatoes and water and then it'll be ready to go. So on to the next one, which is Gem, Stress and False's Swamp. Absolutely perfect. So now all we need to do is pick up all of the potatoes to actually put into these vending machines so that they're useful. And then that business What is that? What? <laughs> what? What? I mean, th th there's only one. Th th oh my goodness! <laughs> the mega tree. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Does that go all the way up to the build limit? I mean, I imagine it goes all the way up to the build limit. This is quite the monument. I don't even know how to get rid of this. <laughs> I don't even know if I should get rid of this. I'm just going to ignore it because this gal's popped over for a quick adventure. I've got a new shirt. Um, do you? What color is your shirt normally? Oh, the same color. I, I I kind of liked it, so I bought the same. So this is a, this is a new shirt, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It smells new. That's just got that new smell. Like <laughs> I can't, I can't keep doing that. I'm gonna die. I'm literally going to die. Yeah, and me, me too. Me yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. Would you like to mend my soul by helping me on a little bit of a quest? This is very good. Mending is very helpful. So what sort of quest is it? Well, I need a trident. Right. And how do you want me to help you with that? I mean, you have to understand, I, I can't kill anything. So... <laughs> what? You can't kill anything now. <laughs> no, dude. I'm, uh, I'm all about the beast, the love, and the plants. Have you not read the front of my bus? Look. So seriously, you can't attack anything or anyone. No, but I could stand around and I could watch you, maybe. Uh, I think we should find one of those drowned temples. I got there a bolt. Are, I, wait, I'm there prepared. are drowned temples? Is this a... Yeah. Is this a new thing? Yeah. Okay. 113, four years ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. you, you've got to be joking. The, literally, this season of Hermitcraft so far has been me learning things about Minecraft that has existed since like 2011. Is that is that a drowned temple that's somehow generated on the land? Yes, yes. I don't think they spawn the drowned though because I think the drowned has to be... I think it has to be dark. That's crazy. Look, there's even a sea lantern up there. Should I get further away from this thing? Because it might affect... Might be within the 30 blocks thing. Mm, maybe. Boop. Boop. Mm -hmm. Boop. <laughs> boop. Boop. The thing is, if we find one that's deep down, it will be dark in daylight. This was a terrible adventure. This is the worst. There is a, there is a chest in here, though. I've, I've got it already. I've got the treasure map in my hand. Well, there's a bunch of wheat and coal you missed out on. So jokes on you. Do you want to get? A, do you want to go and get this treasure? Is this going to be our new task? Because you've realised that maybe getting a trident is potentially not going to happen. So now you're just coming up with a separate plan. I just don't want to look like a failure, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm with you. The fact that there's two boats here is is maybe a bit concerning. They're both mine. I can't remember if I did this treasure. Oh, 
Well, this is the worst treasure I, hunt I've ever. This is. I this probably is, did. Yeah, this is the worst, dude. Oh, it's lit up over there. <laughs> this is not <laughs> a good sign, Iskal. This no, it's still here. You, I just heard you right click. Oh yeah, no, oh, there's feathers and diorite. Nice. Has this has this adventure been successful or what? <laughs> like it would be nice if we could at least at least kill one round. Yeah, I mean that probably would be good. What is that bee doing over there? He has got himself real in a muddle. Aye, aye, aye. Should we rescue this bee? Is this our new mission? Sure. Yes. Maybe you could get him in the boat. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But you're taking his seat. All right, dude. Hop in. I'll happily sacrifice my space. Go on. Get him. Oh, <laughs> so close. No, that was so close. <laughs> What Go is he on. doing? He's fishing. He's looking for fish. Go yes. on, yes, yes. Oh, oh what? Punch him a little bit, Mumbo. Punch him. Uh, no, I can't punch him. Go on. You crashed into I... him. Maybe you yeah, have to be did. out the boat. You have to get out Wait. the boat. Okay, I got an idea. Big no, brain, that... big brain, big brain. We're meant to be saving the bee. Yeah, we are. We are. Get in the stupid boat, bee. I'm nudging. I'm nudging the boat. I'm nudging He's the diving. boat. It's a diving bee. <laughs> Oh, he was so close! Oh. He was so close! He was so close! He's teasing at it. Oh. Oh. No! Yeah, he's gonna die now. He's lost his stinger. Man, we oh. are, we're terrible at everything. <laughs> I, feel, I feel bad now. I feel genuinely bad. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I thought that I'd let him attack me. Well, I so think... That he could have some success I, in I his think, life. I think, he's, I think if his stinger's gone, I think he dies. I don't want to watch that. He, he, he seems to be alright, actually. No, he seems to be... He seems to be he seems to be thriving. If we unload the chunk, he's gonna be okay. Oh no, Sorry. he's in he's in the water. No, no, he's he's all good. He's all good, dude. He's fine. He is thriving. He in is fact, thriving. Okay. Look, 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 he's right behind you. We might be able to get this. <laughs> Should I punch him again? Where's he off to? He's now he's suddenly on a mission. I think he's fishing the clownfishes. Oh. Oh. I told you we, were, we should unload the chunk. Yeah, we should have unloaded the chunk. Well, that was hugely unsuccessful, but it was successfully unsuccessful in that it was so unsuccessful that it became successful again because it was so hilariously unsuccessful. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Right, I'd say that's a good point to leave off this episode. It's been incredibly fun. We've done a ton. It's It's been awesome. Goodness gracious me. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. And you know, just between me and the three people who are still watching this video during the outro, I'm genuinely concerned for my lack of Minecraft knowledge. It seems like every single episode I produce, <laughs> I'm getting new information about Minecraft that has been in the game for many years that I was just totally unaware of. I mean, I did, I had no clue that Drowned had their own structures. What on earth?